choke up. There are several times in kanji where you'll need to switch your hands quickly to adjust for a new position on the Joe. For example, in the second or third move, we do a ski and a ski. We come back for a gedan gayashi, a gedan gayashi. Then we choke up to nearly the middle of the Joe for the hachi noji gayashi. Also, after a shomanuchi, we're going to choke up to come around for the H pattern. So there are several times like those and others where you'll need to suddenly adjust your grip on the Joe, so be ready. Gedan Gayeshi. There are several Gedan Gayeshis in kanji. Gedan Gayeshi is essentially like sweeping the floor. So you're holding it just like a broom, like this. You can switch your hands and sweep this way. Now, you can also take a Gedan Gayashi, and instead of sweeping low, you can sweep high, like this. And the way we switch is we let go of the end hand, let this one drop through, and now this one becomes the end hand. And we can sweep high or low. You let go of the end, let it go like a metronome, sweep. Let go of the end, let it slide through as it swings like a metronome, Gedan Gayashi. So let's do it backing up. Get on Gayashi. Metronome slide through. Get on Gayashi. Metronome slide through. Get on Gayashi. You can also do it moving forward. Let go of the end. Let it slide through. Get on Gayashi. Let go. Slide through like a metronome. Get on Gayashi. Get on Gayashi. Get on Gayashi. So keep an eye out for them as you're practicing kanji. Hachi noji gaeshi. Literal translation, hachi is eight, no is of, ji is figure, gaeshi means turn. So the literal translation, eight of figure turn, basically figure eight turn. And more than a figure eight, it is an infinity turn. So you just hold your thumb up, thumbs up, way to go, and you make that infinity. It's a sideways eight. Then when you put the joe, in your hand and keep making that figure, you get a figure eight turn. Now, the more you can keep it on one track, the tighter you can keep it to your body, the quicker it'll turn, like a gyroscope. You want to be able to switch. You don't switch hands in Hachi no Jigayashi, but it's good to get that control. So when you cross your body and your palm is up, put your other palm up and switch hands. Cross your body, switch hands. Cross your body, switch hands. Now, when you're first learning to do it, you can drill this by just choosing an odd number, like seven, or we'll go with five. One, two, three, four, five, switch. One, two, three, four, five, switch. One, two, three, switch. One, two, three, switch. And then one switch. Switch on every turn. like so. Now you'll notice when you're doing that switch, the Joe spins one and a half times per side rather than one time per side. So note on Hachi no Jigayashi, one spin per side. When you switch it, one and a half spins per side. So look at this. Switch, one and a half spins. You can tell by the end of the Joe that's the weapon. See the pinky side is the weapon like a backhand blow. The no tape side. Then when I switch here, one and a half turns, now the tape side is striking. You see. Switch, one and a half turns, no tape side. Now, as you get accustomed to this, you start letting this free hand go for a ride. So I'm switching, there's my free hand, see. But I'm going to let it go for a ride and kind of push the Joe and stabilize the Joe as it turns. This is the two-handed Hachi no Jigayashi. And you're now spinning one and a half times per side, so your pace is a little different, even though the speed of the spin remains the same. So there's Hachi no Jigayashi and two-sided Hachi no Jigayashi, or rather two-hand Hachi no Jigayashi. You are going to do 
two-handed Hachi no Jigayashi at the end. So be ready. The 360 step through. The 360 part of that refers to a Tenkan. It's a cool Aikido step. It goes like this. Step forward, turn, step back. Step forward, turn, step back. So left foot forward, right foot back. Right foot forward, left foot back. Let's look at it from the side. Right foot forward, left foot back. Left foot forward, right foot back. Now, Tenkan needs to feel natural to you because you're going to be stepping through a spinning Joe as you're doing Tenkan. So you need to have your steps completely natural so that you can make it through that spin. Okay, so we're going to be doing the Hachi no Jigayas. And when we get to the outside, we're going to catch it like a motorcycle. Let the Joe keep spinning as we complete our Tenkan. In goes down in front of your arm, catch it on your back. Let's look at it one more time. Hachi no jigayashi. Hachi no jigayashi. When I'm on the front side right here, catch it like a motorcycle, complete my tenkan, and pin it to my back. You can pin it to your back like this, or if you have to, you can pin it like this, but you pin it to your back. So that's a 360 step through by way of a Tenkan, and that's going to be in kanji, so be ready. Shomenuchi. Shomenuchi is just a sword cut done with a jaw. You hold it about a little less than shoulder width apart, and you come straight down. Straight down like a cut. Now with a sword, you add a little bit of a slice. With the Joe, of course, you can just hammer straight down. And of course, you want to be able to do it on either side because you do Shomenuchi on both sides during kanji. So good luck. The H pattern. The H pattern utilizes the Joe as two short weapons rather than one long weapon, which is kind of cool. You got three weapons in one, right? So we can strike up and down, or we can strike side to side. So with the H pattern, you always have your thumbs up the same direction like a baseball bat. And you go on one side, up and down, or the other side, up and down. Then you connect them with a horizontal swing. And notice, one vertical plus one horizontal, right? It looks like an H, a vertical, a horizontal, a vertical. So you can either go down, cut across, down, or up, cut across, up. There are infinite patterns you can make up. You can do one, two horizontals, one vertical, two horizontals, a vertical, two horizontals. So get yourself familiar with the H pattern, and um, the, we're only going to use one in kanji, but the more you know, the more comfortable you'll be with whichever you use. So good luck with the H pattern, and good luck with kanji. Okay, we'll take it one time slowly, and I'll walk you through it. So the first thing, get on gaesh. We flip it through. Ski. Ski backwards, hands in the same position, same as that original Gaidan position, thumbs up. Gaidan Gayeshi, let go, let it metronome through, my thumbs are still up. Ski, ski, hands in the same position, 90 degree Tenkan. Gaidan Gayeshi, let go of the end, let it fall through, catch it. Gaidan Gayeshi, then we choke up almost to the middle. And then we do Hachi no Jigayashi. One, two, three. Step. One, two, three. Step one. Step one. Catch it in motorcycle position. 
can con on through. There's your 360 step through. Catch it in the back. And kick. Shomanuchi. Choke. Up. Where the middle is right between your hands. Thumbs up. Left comes forward. Left goes back. H pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now if you just relax into it, now you're ready to do the same thing, only from the other side. Get on Gaesh. Let it metronome through. Ski, ski. 90 degree Tenkan. Get on Gaeshi. Let it metronome and slide through. Get on Gaeshi. Choke up. Hachinoji Gaeshi. One, two, three. Step. One, two, three. Step one. Step one. Catch it like a motorcycle. Switch hands. Let the 360 go on through. All the way around. Catch it on your back. Then a front kick. And a shomanuchi. Choke up. Right foot steps up. Steps back. H pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I step through and start my double handed hachi no jigayashi. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And when my hands are here, I let it slide through, continue around, I catch it under my armpit. And your hand can take some of the impact of it coming into place. Then I flip my hand upside down. And this is essentially motorcycle position. Only your hands are twisted here. You flip it all the way around to here. Then your left hand comes over, traditional position. Bow. My right hand, notice thumb is still toward me. I put my knuckles here between my hand and shoulder. I push down. Catch it with my left, and I let that end sneak by my elbow as closely as possible. Catch it with my left. Now both hands are up. I let go with my left, and when my right is picky up, I catch it, return to ready. And that's kanji in slow motion. Good luck. I hope you've enjoyed learning kanji. Good luck, practice hard, and see you next time.